Hello, my dear acquaintances. All right, so last video, I slightly mentioned that I was going to talk about how I've been growing my hair so fast. Now, if you haven't also watched last video, I cut my hair. My hair was um, down to my butt. It was all the way down to my butt. Um, and it was six years of growth that I just decided on a whim to chop it off. And it went from down my back to my shoulders. But now, in two months, my hair has now grown to my armpits which is great <laughs> but i have done it with a purpose and i have done it intentionally because i deeply 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 miss my long hair <laughs> but it was a journey that i needed to take so i'm going to get back to the length that i was but hopefully in half the time fingers crossed as i untwist my hair i'm going to be talking about how i am growing my hair so fast please stick around and enjoy one of the big main reasons uh, my hair is growing back so fast is because I am doing I'm putting less products in my hair so if you guys ever watched any of my old videos at all I was a product junkie I had a problem a deep deep problem and I was not trying to fix it at all I love and I still do and I I, I am not a recover I'm not recovering <laughs> at all I still love trying products I love new hacks I love which is a series I might be doing soon of online hair hacks on locks and see if that works stay tuned subscribe so I love, love trying new things on my hair to see what works and I like seeing new things because I get bored easily. Which is why my hair changes so much because I get so bored. Um, and I like trying new things. However, this time I haven't been doing that as much and I think that contributes to my hair because when I am trying new things, I am completely experimenting. Meaning, I do not know if this is healthy for my hair or not. <laughs> And I will go buck wild with experimenting. This did nothing. Wow, that sucked. Huh. So I used to um, use a whole bunch of products that, you know, I didn't know if it was good for my hair or not, but I really wanted to try. And so I was manipulating and putting, let's, let's be honest, chemicals, if you're buying it from the store, putting chemicals in my hair or non non like purely natural stuff in my hair that I didn't know was you know could be slowing down my process so I haven't been doing that as much lately and the only things I have been using is natural oils and sometimes which I've also kind of backed off of a little bit because the it's getting warmer so I don't need it as much but um, I slowed down on using conditioner as moisturizer because my hair just really hasn't been absorbing it much because it's getting warmer so it doesn't need that extreme amount of moisture as it used to so no uh, most of the time I just use like natural oils like olive oil avocado oil um, recently started using garlic oil warning if you make garlic oil, which all you have to do is put garlic, my friend taught me this, shout out to you, put garlic oil in olive oil and just let it marinate in there. But that stuff, it's so strong. <laughs> it is, it is so strong. Be careful when you use it. I mean, you, your hair, it's fantastic for, um, like regrowing new hair. Also, if you see my nails, sorry, ignore, ignore them. It's fantastic for growing hair. So if you also haven't seen one of my old videos um, about my mom's hair, when I started her locks and her journey of what she went through with having very thin hair and starting locks, I might do another video for you of like what to expect and what size locks that I mostly recommend for people with thin hair. I've been recently using garlic oil on her hair to regrow or re-thicken her hair in some spots um, 
because she's been going through a lot of stress lately so there's been a little bumps in the road yeah but I've just been using a lot of natural oils in my hair versus like conditioners and products and stuff and you can see my hair is doing quite well with that the next one I've been I've been really really trying to focus on my inner health my I've been getting um, working out I've been in like pumping and trying to circulate my blood throughout my body as much as possible which if you guys don't realize is extremely good not just for your body but for your hair too the more blood flow and circulation that's going throughout your body can help your hair yeah so I've been focusing a lot more this time on my inner health trying to um, get my body in shape which <laughs> subscribe <laughs> because I will be doing another video on you know my journey and the way my body looked then and how it looks now and just like a whole detailed once I get to like my goal which hopefully happens sooner than later but subscribe if you want to keep an eye out for that video I'm not telling you when it's gonna happen but it will happen that I can guarantee but yes yeah, so I have been definitely focusing a lot more on my physical health and that has been contributing a lot to my locks and my hair and growing it a lot what also adds to my hair growth but it also added added to it last time I grew up my hair was that um my menstrual cycles so I don't know if anybody else experiences but I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one as you on your menstrual your testosterone rises and with me when that happens my hair grows all over everywhere so I get a huge surge of hair growth for like a period of time um, in my hair so that helps quite a bit so every month I get this surge of hair growth out of nowhere and it just like just grows my hair so so incredibly long but that doesn't just happen on my hair that happens everywhere on my body <laughs> I'm a very hairy person so it sounds nice until like you shave and then your hair grows back um, the same day so it's very fun. <laughs> so what I've been doing next was I have been uh, letting my hair grow out. So I did, I did this last time too and I'm still continuing to do it. I do not lock my hair every month. I lock it sometimes every three to five months out of the year. Um, depending on how much growth I've been having only because I really want to give my hair that rest and um, rejuvenation that it needs I don't think it's really necessary for me to like constantly lock it and constantly constantly every month I think it's it from what I have noticed it thrives so much better when I leave my hair alone the only time I would probably lock it sooner is if my roots start connecting really badly and I start forming locks within my roots um, but I'm really good about maintaining that and making sure that doesn't happen so yeah I can usually last about um, I usually just go for like three to four months but if I'm really lazy then I would go four or five months I'm gonna say it's been about maybe a month and a half or two months and my hair is all the way right here month and a half and two months I think that's pretty darn good I know I'm shouting out a lot of videos but I'm promoting myself okay look <laughs> so once again I'm gonna say subscribe all right because I'm going to be doing a video 
I'm just like, I'm gonna be doing a video. I'm gonna be doing a video. I'm going to be doing a video on how I interlock my hair using a hairpin and or another device that I will not show you until you subscribe and watch the next video. That might be the next video I do. That might be a couple videos from now. Also, I'm gonna be doing another video which will probably, may not, possibly be the next video on speaking of products on this little baby right here what is it Ooh, what is it I don't know maybe you should um maybe you should uh subscribe and find out next video um, who knows are you subscribed yet have I not convinced you already <laughs> I promise this won't be like every video, hopefully. Hopefully. The next one. Super, 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 super important for like any type of hair growth, period. Is, oh, oh no, my ewing. Keeping your scalp healthy. That is the most important thing you can ever do in starting a healthy hair journey do is make sure that scalp is super healthy you can even tell that my scalp and my skin color right here you know how like some people have like it's paler on their scalp than it is here my scalp and my skin color are the exact same color exact same I exfoliate anytime I shampoo my hair or wash my hair I exfoliate my scalp okay so I complete anytime I shower or like wash my hair or shampoo it, I exfoliate my scalp. If I get out the shower and I scratch my head and I still have some dead skin on my hair, on my hands, on my, under my nails, hello? If I still have some dead skin under my nails, it's not clean. My hair's not clean. I try to treat my scalp the way I treat my skin. I try to tend to my scalp the way I try to tend to my skin. Now I also have eczema. So, my skin sheds like a snake. Every time the seasons change, or like in that transition period, I shed like a freaking snake. Some people sneeze, some people get allergies, I shed. But it's especially dangerous for people who have, who have eczema like me. If you do not remove that skin or that extra layer that's peeling off, that can actually clog up the hair follicles and your hair can start to fall out. And then once those follicles are dead, that's it, <laughs> game over, they're gone. It's not coming back. So I really, really, really emphasize if you have eczema or any type of skin uh, condition where your hair or your skin just like flakes, Please, please make sure you're really exfoliating and hydrating your scalp the same way you would to your skin. I highly, 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 highly recommend using avocado oil if you're looking for a good oil that will moisturize your hair. Okay? Okay. Um, and really hydrate your scalp and keep it safe. Um, I won't go too, too, uh, I won't go too deep on like the types of oils that I use and everything because this video will be too long that will be for another video <laughs> that will be for another time another day another time lastly um maybe lastly lastly for this video unless you want to be here forever I am not really styling my hair if at all um I barely put on my hair and ponytails um I add any style that I do 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 <laughs> it has it adds the least amount of tension possible this is the most tension I've ever done on my hair in a while um usually even when I do braid outs I do individual braid outs so it's not pulling on my scalp so this is the first time in a while I've actually pulled on my scalp um, so I do that to a minimum. Too much tension if your hair does not like that, especially if you do that extremely often, you can actually, if you, especially if you have locks, you can actually thin out 
the lock over time. So as, if you do it constantly, 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 you will thin out your lock and it'll fall out. Um, so I really, really try to, like if I'm gonna do a twist out, you would do it, this is like, I, I rarely ever do this. But if I'm gonna do a twist out, I'm just gonna do it individually. If I'm gonna do a braid out, I'm gonna do it individually. Not pulling on my scalp. Those are pretty much the main things that I do. Nope, fail, fail. Let me let me let me undo this part real quick. See, this one took a lot better on this side than it did on this side. Huh? That's frustrating. That was my failed twist out because my hair is wet and I didn't, you know, I didn't plan this correctly. So those are the basic tools that I am using to grow out my hair back to waist length. I'm super, super, super excited and I'm happy that it's actually working and that my hair is growing so well and it looks so good and it's so healthy and I'm just in a better mindset and I'm just ready for what's to come and I'm getting my body together. I'm just, I'm just in such a better place and I am so ready for my hair to be back to what it was and for me to actually not feel like I'm competing with it. And cause it was never competing with me. <laughs> I just was competing with it and I think um, I'm ready for that and I hope these tips actually helped you. I hope that you were able to use any of these. If it works, let me know in the comments below. And I hope I promoted myself enough throughout this video, okay? Subscribe. I don't know what else to do to tell. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you but to subscribe, okay? Have you done it yet? Because what, what else do you want me to do? How many videos want me to tell you that's coming for you to believe me? They're coming. Jeez. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. Like, comment, and subscribe, and stay locked. Bye.